What's going on guys, this is Sam, and today Apple released iOS 12 Beta 6 to developers, and the changes are definitely beginning to slow down, not nearly as many in Beta 6 as there were in Beta 5, even though the size was actually pretty massive still, uh, about 360 megabytes here on the iPad Pro, but there's still a good number of changes to talk about, and performance got even better, so let's go ahead and jump in. All right, so first up under wallpapers, if we head over to stills right here, you'll notice that they have been rearranged just a little bit. Unfortunately, no new wallpapers in this beta for iOS 12 because there were so many new ones in macOS Mojave beta 5 last week. I thought for sure Apple would be adding them to iOS 12 maybe a little bit earlier than in the GM release, but that is not the case. They were rearranged. The new iOS 12 wallpaper is now down at the bottom. And what's interesting is while Apple kept the one that is completely blank, there's just nothing there. They nixed the iOS 10 wave or ocean wallpaper. So only iOS 12 and iOS 11 stock wallpapers remain. And uh, that's kind of a weird change right there. It's still no new wallpapers yet and I'm sure some will be coming very soon now that Apple has made room for them. However, if we do go over to the home app, there are some new wallpapers in here. So to access these, you want to be on the home screen right here. Tap on the home icon in the top left hand corner of your screen, then tap on home settings down here, then tap on home if you have more than one. Once again, scroll down just a little bit, and then finally under home wallpaper, you can hit choose from existing, and the old iOS 10 ones have been deleted. It looks like Apple is clearing house for everything from the iOS 10 era. For whatever reason, we don't exactly know why, but there are three new ones right here. I was able to recreate them, so if you're interested in downloading any of these just to use on your general home screen, on your iPhone, your iPad, your Mac, uh, you can do that link is down below you've got yellow blue and green gradients now they don't really follow any theme but if you set one I'll tap on blue right there and then hit set when you go back to the home app it looks like that and you can set your own custom one as you've always been able to but it's a, a lot flatter than it was before in iOS 12 beta 6 Apple changed a number of the splash screens for some apps here is app store right here very minimal change I think the text right here just might be different like I can't really tell but music is totally new right here Apple's highlighting more music videos music video playlists and also add free videos and then finally this one absolutely looks the best out of all the new ones the books get started screen right here Apple's artwork in the new books app that is brand new in iOS 12 looks incredible and I'm sure it's gonna have a really positive impact on books sales because it just looks so good if we jump over to the maps app now I wasn't actually able to replicate this on my device but some text seems to be bolder. One user on Reddit posted this photo, and you can definitely tell some of the text for the names of cities and countries does look bolder than it was in iOS 12 beta 5 or any iOS 12 beta before it, and there are a ton of maps improvements happening. So maybe Apple is testing this feature. Uh, once again, I was not able to really replicate it. It looks pretty much identical on beta 6 on my phone as it did in beta 5, but the text could be getting a little bit bigger. When you're listening to music in iOS 12 beta 6, there's a new AirPlay icon right here. I can't put my finger on exactly what's different. It just looks to be a little bit bigger than it was in iOS 12 beta 5. When you tap on it, everything here is pretty much identical to how it's looked in iOS 11 for a while, but Apple still has a little bit of ways to go to fix the uh, layout issues right here because my volume icon is sort of cut off. Inside of the messages app now, if you tap on the camera icon, there's finally an easy way to get to the rest of your photo library by tapping that right there. All your recent photos will now pop up below because there's a lot of muscle memory here in iOS 11 or iOS 10, I can't remember which one. Apple made it so that when you tap the camera icon, you would always get your recent photos. They would pop up. But in iOS 12, Apple's made it so you have to tap on the actual photos icon to do that. So at least there's now a way to redirect yourself there easier than having to figure out what the new pop-up is. Uh, I like that change a lot. I still wish that that would just automatically pop up with recommended photos without having to tap the photos icon, but that is still a step in the right direction. If you're using your phone in landscape mode and you go to 3D Touch on on a notification now. The X is no longer placed above it in landscape only. You can see it's over to the side now. The X itself looks pretty much identical to before, but it's over to the right now rather than being on top. All right, I've got one last really small change to show you. All the hands on the clock in iOS 12 beta 6 are actually a little bit bigger. If we head over to this Reddit post right here, I'll link it down below. The hands are a little bit bigger. So this is beta 6 right here, and then that was beta 5 and before. So no idea why Apple made a change this small. But if you take a look, the uh, minute, hour, second hands, they are a little bit larger in beta 6. So that's what's new in iOS 12 beta 6 so far. But I also want to go ahead and show you something crazy again. So if we head over to the Geekbench app right here, 
These are my scores on iOS 12 Beta 6. My multi-core score went even higher. Uh, the highest multi-core score that I've ever gotten on my iPhone 10 to date for the second or third or fourth week in a row now that Apple has released uh, a new iOS 12 Beta. 4263 for the single core score, 10,638 for the multi-core score. And if we head back to Beta 5, uh, I was getting 10,602, 4221. So the single core score shot up quite a bit and also the multi-core score went up around 30-ish points, which is crazy that iOS 12 just continues to get better. The iPhone 10 has only improved since it launched, and uh, I'm still blown away every day at just how good iOS 12 is actually performing. In fact, over on Reddit, a user posted this video of iOS 12 beta 6 running on their iPhone 6s, and the performance here, it feels one-to-one -one with the iPhone 10. Most first-party applications from Apple are loading almost instantly, with I think the exception of the App Store, but everything is so quick and so smooth, and I'd love you to sound off in the comments down below. How has your experience with iOS 12 been if you've been running the beta or are you still waiting to hold off until the public release, which is now in just a couple of weeks? Anyway, that is going to wrap up this video. If you enjoyed watching, drop a like down below and of course subscribe for more iOS 12 videos in the future. I've been Sam. I hope all of you are doing great and I'll talk to you in my next video.